Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. It's me Anil. We are back in the series of online food ordering website using ASP.NET C Sharp. In previous video, that is part number 14, in that we have displayed user order. That is when the user place any orders, it will gonna display there. And in today's video, that is part number 15, we'll gonna update those status of an order made by the user in previous video it is that we have done the purchase issue right here we are displaying the the this one the status of an order that is by default it will be pending until and unless the admin updates the status of it okay so in admin section in the admin module we'll gonna create a page for updating the status of a order okay we already have one menu like uh, for that so we will gonna create page for that we don't have that page update status here we will have here so we will create page for that and then we will first do the design part and then we will go for the the functionality part so in categories like uh, we have here two sections the first section is for uh, adding or updating this part the category that is a form and then the the table design like for displaying the list of categories okay so it is divided into two sections so we will use this, uh, this design code for our this update status so in this also uh, in update status so in update status we will uh, use two sections one section for displaying this the list of orders made by the user and the other half second section that will uh, use for updating the status of, of an order okay so let's stop this and open our visual studio so uh, first let's open our this page category page okay the design page uh, before that let's first create page for that actually we don't have the page for that so let's create a page here add new item or I am getting here web form with master page we want that if, if you do not get here you can go from new item and can search from here and I'm I'm getting here itself so let's select so let's select it and give the name I am taking here order status add it and select the master page of that for that admin module so it will be an admin folder right so this is the master page okay so our page has been created here now we want to copy and paste the design code of this category first uh, we'll copy this part that is for displaying the uh, the message label message and it should get disappear within 5 seconds so for that we will copy this from here and paste it here in the head part you know it is divided into two parts the first one that is the head part the second one that is the body part ok right now we don't have this control label control so we once paste the code here it, this error will gone let's copy the uh, those also those code also actually we don't want this function that is for uh, image preview that we have used in category we want to uh, we don't want that so leave it so let's copy this one this whole section from start to end which is placed in this contain placeholder okay just copy that from there and paste it here okay so i pasted 
okay so here is the level control now there should go on yes okay uh, now we need to switch the design like in first section i don't want to display the form section okay uh, i want it in the uh, second section in first section i want to display the list of uh, like the data in table format so that code we have done in the second part here so let's uh, cut this code minimize it select from here top till here end cut and here this tip just select it and we'll paste after that paste it here so that code came here okay now what we want we want this code to be placed in the second section cut from here remove this extra space and paste it here from where we have cut that the second code and paste it in the first one so place here the first code in the second section okay paste it now it's perfect so okay so now what we need uh, the size here uh, in the category section what we uh, were taking in the the forms size the form section size it's small and the table uh, the, the table uh, section the table section is, is larger than the the first section okay so but here in this case uh, we want that the same thing but here it's remain the same uh, the previous one the old one so we have to change this okay instead of here six uh, no instead of here four we'll take here eight we'll make it size eight and the the second one also eight now this is the first section let's minimize this one yeah and this is the second section so here we'll use the remaining four part in bootstrap for column we have 12 parts right 12 column total 12 columns we can take in a row right so the first eight we have already used so the remaining four we need to use here same for here save it okay so let's uh, first modify this one minimize this and open this first one here so instead of this uh, category name we want your order list so first of all we are displaying here the list of order okay in the first section that's why we have used here this uh, the repeater that is for table purpose displaying the table data right here in tabular format hmm. okay so uh, we need to change here the name as well of this control instead of our category we will take here our order status and we need to create this event again okay. so this both event actually we want uh, I don't think so this item one we don't want this one so let's remove this first okay so let's create this event again okay so you know how to create event from here can go from the design as well as well as from here just click on control dot okay it's not okay let's first save 
okay control space bar yeah sorry uh, it's a control space bar then click on this create new event or just click on enter it will automatically generates the event for us now if you go the code behind for this uh, order set is can go from here view code or you can click f7 key it will work for the same okay so here this uh, event has been created okay now we want to change this uh, the column names so what here we want instead of name uh, we will take here the order number that is the first one order number the second one order date the third one status that is the order status for product name and we want some more columns let's uh, copy this line or it can just duplicate this line two times by pressing control d it will duplicate the same line okay where you are where your cursor is placed where cursor is here if you press control d it will again create a copy of that it means it will duplicate the the line on which the cursor exists okay so let's uh, rename this as well total price the fourth one payment mode the last one here instead of action we want only edit so we'll take here edit okay so heading part is done now the uh, the data part for those columns we want okay so we'll rename this instead of this name we are getting the order number from the database tables column okay and we don't want this one so we'll remove it So here I am copying this part, copy, paste here, rename this order date, The third one we want label control for displaying the label status because in that status uh, we need to uh, give the bootstrap class as well that is the if it is a status right so we need to uh, give the the color background color to it if it is delivered or pending uh, just right uh, just right similar just, just similar to that uh, that we are done in profile section for displaying the order history uh, there we have display the status in background uh, with some color in background right that is this this pen pending it will gonna highlight like it in uh, yellow color that is post a warning color and success one now sorry the 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 delivered the status with delivered uh, we have highlighted with the green color that is bootstrap class success okay so for that we are going to use this label control okay so let's rename rename this uh, the id of it it should be a label status you can give any name it's up to you so it's a label control so that's why lbl and it's for denoting the status so i am taking here lbl status and then this the column name its status 
okay now we i want the the background color for this label control that background color that is uh, we can do with the css right so that's why here we'll take here the css class and here i don't want the normal css class it should come dynamically right dynamically in the sense sorry single quote yeah now here uh, like this one yeah just copy this part paste it here now i want to check if the <coughs> now i want to check if the status if the status value the, first of all we need to convert this into string to string to string is equals to double equal to it will check if it has the value delivered delivered if it has then what we want we want this css class batch batch success if it is delivered it will take this class okay or else it will take here else part will come here else it will take the warning part batch batch warning okay hmm? now it's done hmm, let's make this closing the next line remove this space now it's good yeah so we have taken order number order date and the status after the status we want product name total price payment mode okay so let's copy this part okay we have here uh, we'll use this one so here we want the name product name so that is the column name here is name so let's copy this part paste it here two times yeah after name column we want the total price so column name here is total price after that here payment mode and the last one that is for edit so here we already have one button for uh, link button for edit and one for delete so we don't want this delete one so let's remove this part from here uh, everything remains same here for this add a link button for the edit just uh, need to change the id of it order details id uh, it should be same what uh, like uh, you have taken in store procedure in store procedure we have taken the tables column name uh, maybe in for some case like uh, for particular column name you may have taken alias sql alias so that in that case order uh, this column name this uh, name can be changed otherwise it will be same to the name of the column of a table which you are using okay so so this uh, this uh, table part in for the re in repeater control that we have completed now let's move to the other section here in this section <coughs> let's uh, rename this first 
here okay uh, before that uh, we found this all uh, this part inside a panel control inside a panel control we want this part okay so let's first here take one panel control ASP panel control I'm taking here by typing you can go from toolbox and drag and drop from here you can find the panel control panel is there somewhere here panel is there you can just drag and drop wherever you want to use or just double click on it it will gonna add okay so let's uh, remove this part and go from toolbox click on double click on panel it will, it will gonna add here okay <coughs> you can prefer any one i normally prefer to type it manually okay <coughs> so in panel control uh first of all let's uh, rename this control uh for the panel p for what purpose we are using this uh date update order status and in that uh, we'll cut this code remove this space and paste that code inside this block okay inside this panel control paste it okay it's done yeah so what we uh we are we were changing this uh, the name inside this h4 tag okay so let's change it update status it's a heading title okay just like uh, we have displayed here for order list Mm, let's change here the label for the uh, the form control that we will take here in front of that label part is displayed right so for that uh, that label text that is your order status and here in this uh, instead of text box control we want here drop down in drop down we'll add that part um the status value means what status should be updated for particular order so that status will add here as a static or uh, status in drop down let's remove this and let's add a drop down asp drop down list close it and then id ddl that is drop down list and it's for order status the main thing that is the runet server that every controls need that is the id and server runet server okay so now after this what want we want bootstrap class okay so should be a form control this one um, enter here we'll take okay not here sorry my bad after this inside this drop down list will take the list of item so again it's a asp list item so here we'll take the status like what we want the status the so first of all we want uh, the select not selectable part it should display some message right for drop down 
like something select status so this is the first default one it will already selected automatically but still it's not selected because its actual value is not selected so for this uh, exception that it should not be uh, considered as a selectable so for that uh, we'll take here the value is equals to 0 okay so this the value 0 it will consider that means this part is not selected by the user it is auto automatically selected okay so now the actual list item that we need for update let's add that first one is pending okay so let's duplicate this line control d control d so in the second one we want dispatch dispatch the third one is deliver you can take uh, whatever you like you want here but uh, the design uh, like for the background colors and in dashboards the count uh, based on this status i have done the coding part so you yeah, like if you want some other uh, extra status uh, then you need to add some uh, condition logic for that okay otherwise it will like if you're following to me as it is what i am doing then then of course like it will no problem it will work it, it, it as like it will work in my case okay so now mm, we want hidden field uh, yeah that's fine uh, but here we want uh, validation that is the required field validator okay so let's take here required field validator close this first let's take id sorry id is equals to um, required field validator and it is for order status that is the drop down order status so here d p l order status okay so after that put on it so then uh, we want the color four color that we are using for it so red uh, there is a power cut right now so i need to pause this recording and start after some time when the powers come okay so i am back uh, let's start again so uh, we have taken the four color for uh, that is red color okay after that uh, control to validate which control we want to validate through this required field validator the control that is drop down list here copy the id from it paste it here then enter here after that we will take the error message what error message should display here order status is required then set focus on error is equals to true then it should be dynamic and then it's a drop down list so we want uh, not to validate if it is selected this value 0 the initial one this if it is selected we don't want to validate this one if from these options if anyone is not selected any of this then it should uh, give the error message okay 
validation error message okay so for that uh, there is one property here uh, i think initial value yeah initial value that is we want to give here the zero because uh, we are taking here the value zero for so it it will uh, exclude this part if it, this one is selected it will not consider in uh, in this validation but from this if any of the items is not selected then it will gonna highlight this uh, drop down to select any items from this okay so after that hidden field is there with the value 0 it will remain same and we don't want this one for this let's remove we don't want this as well remove this part okay now we want here the buttons two buttons uh, we will require one for update the status and one for uh, clear it's, it's clear or uh, will use for cancel button okay so we don't want this part so let's remove this now it's fine let's change here the id the text for both bu button so let's change id of it button btn update and it's uh, btn cancel here the text is update and here cancel um, here don't want this we need to create the button click event so let's remove this the old one let's create a new one control spacebar it will show this option to create a new event enter it's get created in the code behind page let's do it same for this btn cancel as well create new event save and if you come here to the code behind page you can see the created event okay so we have three event here and we need to take here one function for that okay okay so i think design part is now completed yeah now let's move to this part the code behind part so here uh we'll copy from the categories code behind page okay so let's copy this part paste here it will import the name space automatically here at the top if you are using the uh the latest version of visual studio 2022 if it is a uh, 2019 then you may need to import the namespace manually by right clicking on it and pick excel you will get an option for that okay so after that in page load let's copy that from here itself copy and paste it here uh, here instead of this category we'll take here auto status and here we need to create function uh, but the name should be different get order status we'll create this function in a moment and here after this <coughs> we want to hide that the panel that we have taken we don't want when the page gets load we don't want that panel should be visible in the screen okay so we will uh, visible that panel section for that like which contain the drop down for updating the status okay so we will uh, show the that part that panel part in screen when uh, 
the admin clicks on the edit in the tab table format in the table structure in that part there will be edit button right uh, it, if it is clicked by the admin on the edit button then this panel part should uh, appear in the screen otherwise it it will be hidden okay so for that here starting will set this visible is equals to false okay this panel will be get visible uh, like hidden okay now uh, we'll create this function here after this uh, we can copy from here as well and copy this one we'll change it according <coughs> paste it here copy this name paste it here uh, as well as that re uh, repeater control name repeater uh, status uh, what is that name order status I think order status yeah copy paste it here okay uh, what we want we need to change here the store procedure name and the action name okay so the store procedure name is invoice that is already created and we have used in invoice page as well as we have used in the profile uh, where when we are displaying order history I think so <coughs> let's check we will come to know yeah in profile for order history we have used the invoice okay yeah invoice store procedure so so same store procedure will, uh, will going to use here but the action name here it's uh, get status get status and it is there I think let me show you invoice modify mm, yeah get status here we'll use this one okay so this requires mm, it don't require any parameters it only requires this uh, the parameters that is action name that's it okay so it will give us the data okay <coughs> now what we want we want to uh, we have uh, like uh, given this data to this uh, uh, repeater control okay okay it will gonna display that record in this uh, control okay so let's run and see then we'll uh, uh, do this part okay Mm, yeah let's run and see okay uh, before that uh, we need to uh, bind this page to the menu uh, in the admin section right so let's copy this name here yeah, this is a name and in admin section in the master page where we have the menu we need to link there and it's uh, here I think yeah it's dashboard product code and uh, product delivery status here in this update status so we need to add here mm, when we click here uh, yeah it's href here href sorry href here just paste that uh, okay let's see okay directly we need to give here the name this is a name dot axps that, that is the extension okay page extension okay now it should work let's run and see let's log in as an admin okay so update status here now can see here uh, we have got a data here okay and we have given these the background color for the status right so we are uh, like if it is delivered then we uh, get the green background as a green color otherwise it will in uh, yellow like uh, not real yellow uh, it's a mix of yellow and orange I think yeah so it's a booster class uh, predefined color for that for the class warning okay so 
we are getting from there if we expand here we'll get the other details as well like uh, if the payment mode is cod or it is the payment board of card so it will uh, display there okay no problem in that so okay like once the user click on this edit button okay what should happen here when the user uh, not user the admin when the admin clicks here on the edit button here the uh, the blank side the second part the second part which is blank here it will uh, display the that panel section okay uh, which contains the drop down and the button for update and cancel that part will pop up here like uh, not pop up it will gonna visible here the uh, where it is blank okay so from there admin can update the status once the update status has been done it will gonna uh, hidden again okay so for that like uh, we need to uh, put the functionality on this button click button click here we are doing in this tabular that is in ah. vpd control right so for that we need to uh, do that code for that here in this one in that repeater control when the when any items perform any that gives any command item here that is the button okay when the item gets uh, give any command at that time this event will call okay uh, in that uh, repeater control that button item uh, gives the command the click command so we we'll, uh, read here and do the needful things here, okay i think that is already in category let's copy from there <coughs> here okay so we'll use this part okay uh let's copy this from here in here in category like uh, we have two like uh, edit as well as delete but in our this piece we want only for update so we'll take here and in that case uh this sql connection class required for both for the edit as well as for the delete so that's why we have taken this class outside that will be common for both okay so now this time we want inside control oh sorry alt down arrow it will come the down line the bottom line okay so uh, now it's inside this uh, if condition okay we don't have this okay we need to remove okay don't want this part remove this one okay so let's uh, take here uh we have the drop down list right so ddl order status dot selected value because the whatever the value uh it's there it should be selected in database like by by default it is pending uh, when the order gets created right so that pending uh, will be coming from database and it going to match uh, through the drop down list okay and it will gonna uh, display there in drop down as a pending okay if the status has been changed it will gonna fetch that name from the database table and gonna select that drop downs value okay so here we need to take that column which stores that value that is the status name okay and for the hidden field value like we are taking the order details and that we have already like uh, taken when we click on the button that uh added button here this one this id they need that let's copy from here and paste it here that id yeah we are storing it in this uh, hidden field controller control okay so after that we want to hide that uh panel control right so for that Mm, sorry select this and let's give the id of that and it should be visible and we want
want here true when the buttons is clicked then what it will do it will uh, fetch the record from the database like uh, for which category like uh, uh, sorry here I need to change sorry I forgot to show like, uh, but I need to change this ID I want here so like when this button added button is clicked from there we get this order ID, details ID okay so so here we will get that order details ID and we will pass here so uh, we need to change here the action name of that as well as the stored procedure name the stored procedure name will remain same that is the invoice but the action name here will change status by id we want the status of that uh, particular order so based on the id that we will go to, going to pass it will get the the status details id from there okay as well as the status of that okay will return here the order details id as well as the status okay because through this id we will gonna update that record from the orders table so we require both these columns details id and the status column okay so let's copy this uh, the action name and paste it here so in this store procedure it will call this action uh, and we'll pass this uh, the details order details id and we'll get that record here and we are passing that uh, status column data in drop down okay and the order details id in the hidden field control and we'll make that the panel control visible to true that means it should now visible when the user had been click on edit button okay and when the panel get visible it will get the uh, selected uh, drop down value that is coming from the database okay whether it is pending delivered dispatch whatever okay so uh, what we want now next after that uh, when the okay let's see this uh, rerun this and check whether it's like uh, we are able to get the data or not login as admin update status let's check for the first one and it is pending status right click on edit now here this uh, panel get uh, updated means it's get visible with the drop down and the value is selected which is stored in database that is the pending for this uh, order the status is pending so from database is getting pending and it will match here for uh, for this pending so the data that match so this pending is selected automatically here okay and if we click for this delivered here on the edit we will see here this delivered is selected automatically okay suppose if we click on select status you can see here the validation error message order status is required that means there is no order is selected so that's why we have taken that validation and this select status which is at the value 0 for that purpose we have taken so it will work okay so you can see here this control is now highlighted that means that set focus on error that part attribute like uh, we have used there it uses for this you can see here this drop down is now selected automatically that is focus get focus okay so that user can select that field okay and like if we cancel uh, click on cancel so it should close this uh, panel part okay panel section so for that we need to add one line of code and when we click on update so selected uh, status will gonna reflect here means it will gonna save in the database and it will gonna refresh this page and fetch the updated status for that order details okay so we want to perform that things so let's stop this and <coughs> move to the update part okay so okay we'll copy the code from category 
for update as well. Mm. Here we have update part. So we don't want any variables to declare here. Let's copy from here till here. Copy and paste it here. After that, we want try cache block as well as this line. Of course, we want store procedure also. So this till here. Let's copy, okay, and paste it here. I'm doing copy paste so uh, video length will be little small as compared. Like if I type all the things, okay. So that's why I'm just to speed up the things. So I just copy and pasting. So it is uh, less time consumed for that. So okay. So let's uh, change here one by one. So first of all, we need to change here the variable name from category ID to order details ID. And we'll pass this ID here. We don't want this part. Let's remove as well as we don't want this. Uh, remove it. So here, okay. First of all, we need to change this to procedure name. Then. We want the action name update status. This one we'll use here. So this one requires order details ID. Okay, as a parameter. So we'll want to pass from here and need to change here. Uh, this the parameter name here. We don't want this to, so let's remove. Okay. Now uh, we don't want this as well. Let's remove. And here don't want. Okay. Let's change this order status. updated successfully and we need to change the function that is get order status and yeah we don't want this let's remove it will remain same as well as this one okay so we have completed the update part when we click on the cancel what will uh, what we want we want that the panel section should get hidden okay so for that just one line of code we want uh, it's a panel uh, yeah we want to visible as a false not a true so it will gonna hide that panel control from the screen okay from the browser it will gonna hide save it i think it's done everything now let's turn and see we'll check whether it works or not Okay, so let's run and see. Uh, we want we'll add here breakpoint. Uh, not here for the update part. We'll check. You know how to add a breakpoint now. Like uh, in I think many videos I have already done this. Uh, if you don't know, still like I uh, I will show you how to do it. Like where you want to add a breakpoint. Like I want to uh, check. Uh, how this fun function is called and how it like uh, works in the background. So I want to check that. So for that I used to add a breakpoint. Breakpoint here on this uh, light gray. Just click here. So it will add a breakpoint. This is a breakpoint. What is the mean of your like means for this using of it? it? Like when we run our project and when it is called, the cursor of execution will get stopped here means uh will remain pause here until unless we'll 
move it manually one by one okay so moving further for that uh, execution uh, we required uh, from here the top there is all uh, there will be one one or two uh, two or three icon for moving for the this uh, debugging part okay so we'll check here so let's run and see login as an admin update status let's update the first one add it let's make it to dispatch now uh, let's make it delivered okay update as i click on update this uh, event is responsible for that button click okay so now it's gets uh, highlighted right this breakpoint is now highlighted uh, and the execution stopped here pause here until unless we move one by one okay now how to move um, how to proceed with it press f10 or you can go by here f10 here step over click on this it will move one by one line ahead okay so we'll get here the order details id that is 5 from the hidden field when we click on that edit button that uh, we get the order details id stored in this hidden field control now we are fetching that hidden field value in this variable so we are getting 5 that means we are using this where id for updating that status we want the id as well for updating right so we are fetching from the hidden field control that is the value here 5 now we'll move further f10 it will call the store procedure with this id okay so the condition get open now it will execute that store procedure now it's get executed so that means it's successfully updated there okay and this message will gonna appear and it will call this function again uh, means uh, we are displaying that uh, the list of order status in that repeater control right in the tabular format so for that we have used this function so it will gonna call this again so we will get the updated the status uh, from database okay so it will come here and the finally close the connection can see here order status update is successful okay uh, i think here some problem is there uh, okay let's uh, debug here what is the issue here just right click there and click on inspect we are getting the date the order date i think yeah the date when the order is made in the order id here then after that this the label control that is now converted here in span so it will gonna display that the message but you have message here it's empty uh don't know why like uh, we need to check uh that uh, what value is coming here or uh, what's the reason for that like we'll check here okay so okay we are updated that for the uh, order details id 5 right that id is 5 let's check in database orders table 5 so status we are getting here null that means the drop down that we selected uh, that value is not passed here okay while updating we are not passing that okay let's see 
uh, yeah i think only one parameters we have given mm, let's see here in order status uh, not here the code behind while updating yeah uh, while updating we have passed only the id for which uh, column for which rows uh, we should update so from this id will come to know which uh, uh, rows value we need to update but which value we need to update we don't know we don't pass that so we need to pass that parameter as well so let's copy this uh, control d it will duplicate this code of line from here let's take here the column the uh, second parameter that is status and the value it should be coming from the drop down ddl and what we want here the selected value which selected uh, drop down we want that value okay so now it will pass here and store that data in database right so now it should work okay uh, let's rerun and see now you come to know like how to debug and we'll come to know what the issue issue was there so like if it is it is called successfully but did, we didn't uh, pass this uh, id like value for uh, what it should get updated so we'll come to know from this and sometimes like you are getting value uh, from database but not reflecting in browser so you can check from there like uh, what we are value we are getting here uh, in this place if it is empty that means uh, we have some issue in binding in drop down or uh, in repeat control where we are binding the data okay <coughs> if you are having no issue there that means uh, from database like while fetching data from the database there will be no data i think so we can check cross again database table right so we'll come to know what the actual issue so by this we will uh, like able to uh, debug and find like what the issue error whatever you can do okay still like, uh, like i perform like in this video whatever i perform uh, step by step everything is working for me but i don't know how you are facing or getting error for the same thing i don't understand really and you message for that like uh, please help me solve that i don't get time to record video and upload here on the youtube and how i can help everyone there is not one or two three students i used to get a lot of students message daily basis for help i don't have time or for the for the silly things you may have done some mistake somewhere by mistakenly or uh, mismatch uh, the syntax that will the main reason for that if you follow my steps as it is what i have done i have guaranteed like i guarantee you you will not get any single error like while uh, doing this i did i have make a mistake here even i have made a mistake like well i have i know how to do it still i have done this mistake okay so i come to know and how i can do uh, figure out what is the issue that's the main thing you will uh, you know like uh, you should know how to figure it out then you will you can solve it by your own uh, the first thing uh, you should know that you should know the debug how to debug your project okay the second uh, how to uh, verify where is the issue and how to solve that issue like uh, you will get many solution from the google like if you search for that like specific error you are uh, getting then try to solve it figure out figure it out okay okay that's what like i want to say and i want to say like one more thing like i don't get time so for sorry for that i'm not able to upload videos uh not even a single video in uh, like one video in a month i think this video will going to upload uh almost um, two months after two months it will gonna upload this uh, after this also like uh, still uh three or four pages is going to left to uh do like the first here dashboard page is not there second uh, the contact page is not there the third the selling report page is not there in the user module there is also contact page okay so that part is also left so total four pages left three page in admin and one page in user model let's see will like when I, when i will get the time will i will do i will try to do it okay uh, okay now uh, we want 
this same data to be updated with this here let's make it pending uh, uh, what happens when if it is null and you run that uh, code again at the when <coughs> when you uh, click on the edit button so it will get the data from here this uh, status value column column value it will gonna uh, bind the drop down control and there is no null item null item present in drop down so again you will get an error so make sure the spelling should be similar that uh, what you have here in this database the pending spelling should be same in drop down same for the delivered so take the same spelling where you have taken like here in this as well as in the the drop down okay so let's see rerun this part and we'll see again in browser this time it should work delivered update f10 i will see here the value selected delivered and we are passing it here so it will gonna update now this time f5 it will gonna come here you can see the message is updated as well as the value gets changed from pending to delivered okay now if you uh, let's update the second last one we'll make here this one as a dispatch click on update uh, let's remove this breakpoint can remove from here wherever the location or space like uh, specific location where you have uh, this taken just click here it will remove from there and when we click again it will add it okay and uh, suppose you have multiple breakpoints then how you will uh, gonna remove that uh, can go in debug and click here delete all breakpoints it will gonna delete break all breakpoints from this project okay click on continue the execution flow it will gonna move further okay so now you can see that uh, this second last one is now updated from pending to dispatch okay so the pending and dispatch background color remains the, uh, the same but for the delivered it gets a different background color right so you will come to know that delivered is now like highlighted okay the the which one the order has been delivered it's going going to highlight okay so now you can check uh, that order status for that but uh, user Mm, the update status if the this one <coughs> the user will uh, get that up updated record updated status in the order history okay so let's uh, log in as an uh, user and check in profile purchase history okay so here the status has been changed uh, for dispatch because we don't have any record with the dispatch status we have done right now so we are getting here for this user and previous it was only one delivered now we are getting one more delivered okay so now what we want if i want to update the status for this order specific order id so let's copy this okay and log out login as an admin so now admin knows which order he want to update he can search from here here got did so just click on edit and click on delivered update okay it's now updated now let's check at the user side and see yeah this one is now delivered okay <coughs> so this is how like you perform the the admin perform the update status of an order means when the 
uh, admin comes to know that the particular order uh, has been delivered has been received to the customer to the user at that time for that specific order id admin will perform the status update okay and the same thing will gonna reflect to the user as well in purchase history record okay so in next video we'll perform um, okay let's see what okay so in next video we'll perform this contact because we uh we will like we want uh, we want going to save this record in database and in uh database for in admin section we'll display that data in contact page here in contact will uh, display that data who uh, whatever like who whoever the user uh, uh, con uh, contacts like whatever the message will get from um, will going to store in database a table and will gonna display here in contact page and admin can delete that record as well okay so after that we'll perform the selling report page okay and then we we'll move the last to the the dashboard page in dashboard page we'll gonna display the count of all records like uh, categories how many categories we have count of it products count and the uh, the for the status also the pending status and the deliver status we'll gonna highlight uh, like give the count for that and how many users has been registered to our this website project we'll give the count that and how many contacted record is there and the selling report means uh, here uh, for this page like we'll get the data uh, till now how much uh, the amount we have generated by selling our products okay so we'll display that count and selling price okay the sole price sole price actually the total sole price will gonna display there so this that's uh, like that will be the i think enough for this project so okay so Thank you guys, we'll meet in the next video, till then bye, take care, thank you for watching, happy coding.